So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the 5D Mark III as a webcam. I've already made a video about the 6D, but in this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about the 5D, and they've actually updated the utility since I've been using the 6D, and I haven't updated it yet, so we might learn some new things as well from the past video. Just in the middle of editing here, and just wanna say, if you wanna just know exclusively how to set up the 5D, uh, as a webcam skip to this timestamp, but if you want to learn a little bit about the background and the troubleshooting That's what's gonna come right now Okay, so I'm kind of starting from scratch here because I downloaded the new utility and I cannot get the 5d to work with it um, In my other video with the 60d I was using the beta and it works great And I use that like every single day almost uh, with the 60d and it's really reliable so far with the 5d um, It's kind of been unreliable. I've had to restart the computer a couple times um, so I'm not too excited about that. I'm not really sure why that's happening as opposed to with the 6D where it just seems to work most of the time. Um, it's just a different camera. So obviously there's that. Um, at this point right now, I would recommend um, getting a 6D instead of a 5D if you're gonna buy a whole new camera to do this. Um, it just seems for me personally to work better. I'm sure they're both fine, um, but just in my testing here for a couple minutes, I've been pretty frustrated with the 5D and it's been, impossible to use it with the uh, new utility. And I'm going to try uh, with the 60D as well here in a second, just to see if there's any difference. Um, but I think you can get the beta still. Can you? Yeah, because it's pretty bad uh, that it doesn't work. I don't, I wonder if anybody's gotten it working. Well, the camera just shut off too. So there's always that. Um, Oh, it's back on. Okay, so I'm back. See, it's it's intermittent, and I didn't really have that problem either on the 60D. Um, I wonder if you can find the beta. So the beta is on this website. Um, I can link it below, but I would just download it and see if it looks legit. Um, obviously, yeah, it, it I, it's it's titled the same. Let's just see what's in the package and see if it's. Any good? Yeah, it's. I'm assuming that this is fine. Um, so the beta is up online. I will put that link in the description. S stop. Obviously, download it at your own risk. But right now, it seems like the beta is working better than the actual version. Um, so maybe let's let's put some headphones on and let's see if we can actually find out if someone has gotten it working. So this guy is using the newer version of the utility um, and it's it's working with the R5 it looks like. Uh, yeah so it is working with the R5 and you can see here that I obviously have it working it's just not ideal um, that it cut out like in the middle of recording like it just did and I've just been having so much trouble with it. It still can work for you if you have a 5D lying around but I don't think it's the best solution. I think the 60D for me has been better um, stability wise. I'm really not sure why this is working differently but it just is so that's just my personal experience. I actually had a comment on my other video with the 60D where someone was having the same problem. Zachary emailed me and said Hey Evan, I saw the video Black Valve posted of using the Canon 60 as a webcam. It worked great at the time you posted the video, and I was using the beta version of the utility, and it worked perfectly. Although now that they don't have the beta version anymore, and it suddenly stopped working for me. Even after downloading the webcam utility for the 60, do you possibly still have zip files for the beta, or do you know how to fix this problem? So I, so obviously we probably talk about this in another part of the video, but this is the reason, um, partially, why I'm making this video. For now, we'll just jump into how to download the beta, and then kind of skip to the rest of the video because I've filmed this out of order as I am learning about how this actually works. Um, so the link is in the description, but I just Googled uh, EOS webcam utility beta um, and then I, their CNET has it up. I would be careful downloading this and just double check that you're downloading the correct file. I'll put the link in the description. I downloaded it and it's fine and it matches the old file that I had, but just when you're downloading random files from the internet, always be careful and always be aware. Um, and I will leave this in the description though for you. So then you'll hit download and it will bring up a um, folder and you will extract 
it'll bring up a zip folder and you'll extract the files. Um, once it extracts, you'll have it and you'll click on it and install. I don't want to install it because I already have it in there, uh, but you'll just follow the setup and um, go from there. Make sure you restart your computer after you install it just to kind of work out any bugs. It's, it's not perfect. So I'm going to install the camera now. I have a little selfie stick over here and I've zip tied it to the back of my monitor and it seems to be a good way to get this on here. I'd recommend taking the strap off, but I'm not going to be, I use a 60 here. I won't be using this specific camera, so I don't have to take the strap off for no reason. So I'm using a 16 to 35, just a pretty wide angle lens for this. So back here I have a mini B USB cable, which is different than micro B. I can leave it in the description if you're interested in getting one. So that goes in the side. And then I have a dummy battery, which also I will leave in the description. Um, and this just allows me to run this without having to worry about power. We're gonna go to settings and then go video. And so like I said, the utility itself hasn't been working, but the beta in theory has been. And that theory is correct. So here I am, it's working in this program, which is Zoom. So that's a good sign if we're using the beta and not the actual utility that is out now because it just doesn't seem to be working with the 5D. So let's try Skype just as one more to try. So we go to our settings, audio and video, and we're selected on the beta. And wouldn't you know, it shows up right there. So that works, which is good. And then I'll just show you OBS. I lost the footage of me doing it earlier. It works too. And it, I was recording the other stuff earlier in OBS that way. So it does work in OBS, but I'm using the beta as the selected source, not the actual new whatever 1.1 or whatever version of the utilities out. So that's how that works. I would theorize that it, this doesn't work on these older cameras with the new utility as well, just because they probably haven't put as much work into that. They're, like in this video we were looking at, um, the guy looks like he's using the R5, uh, which is a newer camera. So, you know, it makes sense that those are gonna work over an older camera like the 5D. Um, but like I said, the 60D has been working great for me with the beta utility. So if you're really wanting to use one of these cameras, I would recommend the 60D, but if you have the 5D, it is working as you can see now, but it's just not as smooth or seamless as the 60D has been for me personally. And I'm really not sure what that is. Or, or why that is, but it's just the, what I've seen so far. So if you have any more questions or wanna see me um, go through this with other cameras, I have, a, I think a T3 or a T3i um, I was planning on doing a video with. So if you wanna see that, let me know. Um, otherwise, if you have any comments, let me know. And in the description, remember you can find uh, the link to the cable you'll need, the battery, uh, the download link for the beta. Other than those links, you could probably also find maybe a link to buy a 60 if you're interested. Um, or the 5D, I'll just put them down there if you're looking for it. Um, but I'd recommend if you just already have one to use that and not really go out of your way um, to do this because it, it can be a little buggy, but for whatever reason, the beta is working better. Um, so, oh yeah, and also also down in the description and, and at the end of the video, I have a video already on the 60D and then some troubleshooting tips that I think work you know, across all cameras, but it's specifically for the 60D, but you'll learn things like maybe trying different cables, um, with the different things with the battery. Um, in this, you can see that I have the image uh, cropped. There's no sidebars on it. If you just plug it in directly into OBS or other programs, you'll get sidebars, uh, like black bars on the side. So in the other video, I'll show you how to fix that. Actually, Hunter, I think, is in that video. But either way, um, you'll learn how to fix it. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching. If you could please like and subscribe. And if you have more questions, just let me know.